Okay, so I'm just going to show you a couple things with um, messing with the Blue Jay um, Pictures Project from Chapter 1 in the textbook. And what I want to do is let's take a look at the code from the circle class. So I'm double clicking on that circle class right here. I double clicked over here. And if you look, this is the code. Um, the interesting thing in here is if you look at these items here, you can also see them here. If I right click, oh, let's make a new circle by right clicking and saying new circle. I'll just call it circle one. If I right click on circle one here and say inspect and you look at the variables that are in here. I've got diameter, private and diameter, private and x position, and so on. Notice that those are the same things here in the class. Okay? So if we look at this code, we can see what's going on here. Um, for example, if we look at the move right method here, we can't really, you know, we don't understand all the details of this yet, but what you can see is this says move horizontal 20, and you remember we go down here and right click that move horizontal is one of the methods that we can uh, is one of the methods that we can use in addition to move right so move right is just making a call to move horizontal and notice that move horizontal takes an integer parameter and here we've got it at 20 so in this particular version of the code I've made move left move left used to be move horizontal negative 20 um, in the code. So this is when you open up the new one, it'll look something like this, but I've changed it to negative 40 because I want a move left to be a little bit further than a move right. Now notice that now that I've made a change, it says change down here and circle has these lines there. That means I need to recompile. I can compile the circle class here, or I can compile down here. Let's just compile. When I'm done compiling, everything works. If I um, notice, though, that my circle object that I made went away because I changed how circle objects work. If I right click on circle and say new circle, and there's circle one again. And now let's make it visible. And there it is. You'll see that now when I say move right, oops, it moves a little bit each time. But my oops but my move left does a bigger jump, right? And we could actually make, let's say, move down be a giant jump, let's see. Move down right now does a move vertical 20. Let's make it do a move vertical of 80. Again, things have changed. We'll compile this. The circle object I made goes away. We can make a new one and another new one. Okay, so if I make, oops, circle one visible and I make circle two visible oh well you know what they're on top of each other right now let's move how do I know that well I know that because I've done this before but you could also inspect circle two and inspect circle one and notice that their x and y position are exactly the same. If I take circle two and do a move right, there you go, you can see the um, x position has changed a little bit. I'm going to do circle two, come on, and move it right again. Um, and let's take circle two, come on, for some reason my clicks aren't working very well today right click there we go I'm gonna do a move horizontal and let's move it I don't know 30 this time and it scooches over and let's make circle one um, change color let's make circle one be magenta there you go and now if we do a move down with circle one it does that giant jump and just take a look at the X and Y positions and how they've changed okay now suppose that I want to write a make green function. Well, let's take a method. I'm sorry. Uh, let's take a look at the um, 
the change color method. Here we go. Um, change color change color method um, is right here. Just like we, we don't really need to know what happens in the change color method. What we need to know is that we can call the change color method. So just like we can call the move vertical method, we can call the change color method. So let's let's actually copy this code for move down. So I'm just doing an edit copy and I'll click here, white space doesn't matter, I'm going to say edit paste and let's change it. So we don't want to move the circle a few pixels down anymore. What we want to do is write a function that change the color of the circle to, let's make it green. Okay, And let's call this change color to green. Now to change the color to green, we don't want to do a move vertical anymore. We want to do a change color. So I'm just going to scroll down and find out how we spelled change color. Here we go. I'm going to copy that. And notice it takes a string as a parameter. So we need to go up to our function that we were editing. And Basically, we need to change this so that instead of saying move vertical 80, we're going to say change the color. We're going to do our parentheses. It needs a string, so we put green in quotes. And then don't forget that finish final semicolon. Okay. So again, we've changed the, the, um, the class. There's lines in there. It says change down here. Let's compile and close the code window. Let's make a new circle and another new circle and let's make them both visible. Great, of course they're on top of each other right now. If we inspect them we'd see that, right? Circle one, there's circle two. Can you see all that? Yeah, you can see that. Um, and But what I'll do is let's take circle two and let's move down move circle 2 down. Let's do a um, change color of circle 2. We'll change circle 2 to red. But on circle 1, we're just going to use our change color to green. Notice there's no parameters here. There was no information we needed to give it now. And bingo, we've got a nice green circle. Okay.